Loyally Pancakes, I'm Trask Nari. Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Let's continue, uh, just grilling this poor little girl. So, who's this man who, uh, ruined your mother? Sounds disturbing. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. Quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, uh, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Exclamation point! The police's consultation with the medium had been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became a laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? I am Asian. If you couldn't tell by the generic animations, anime style art. That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave or go home? Defend Maya! I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Uh, well... No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. That was a cute little kid. Little bugger. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's so kind of you. <laughs> Brings tears to my eyes. Well, uh, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. That is my name. Don't wear it out. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? And when I tried to look into the drawer, she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Alright, let's go over. And, yeah. Let's move, go back to... By the way, if, if, if you didn't recognize that that's a reference to Richard Nixon, you fail. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, excuse me, you are? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. Borat? I just come up to deliver room service, sir. Uh, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the facilities. If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every, one I, every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. NOT! I almost forgot. Ah! You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White, a blue corp, phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Flashback to a few seconds ago. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Mo Maya's mother. Try saying that five times fast. Could it be a coincidence? Of course not, it's a video game. Uh, by law of the economy of characters, obviously they can't recycle names like that. There's no such thing as coincidence. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A uh, wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Oh, Phoenix, I'll tell you when you're older. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh-oh. Time to scram. I look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! As opposed to where else, Phoenix? Are you planning on going to a ball? A gala event, maybe?
maybe. Um, no. If there's a problem with the recording, I don't want to have to redo the entire first level to get up to that point. Blah, 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 blah. Watermelon, watermelon. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Rawr. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first witness. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumchu. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of the murder. Very, very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by the window, here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due, due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker, found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. You're still calling it a statue. Or pens added the court record. No, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence you did, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Testimony. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I didn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. I don't think you're allowed to do that in court. I'm pretty sure that will get you thrown in contempt of court. Yes, yes, bluff it, press the witness on every detail. It works lots of times. Although, you're still not allowed to throw things in court. See, even Judge Sean Connery is a little bit, of, uh, like, shocked by it. Chquow. As soon as blah blah blah, yeah yeah, yes yes, spectacular. Hold on just one second. Yeah, if I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did, correct? Huh? D did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claim she's effective? Um, hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. That's what she said. Yes. Yeah! Sorry, I got the order of things missed up in my testimony, sir. There's something I should have told you first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. Phoenix Wright, behind the scenes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Hey, I found that. On it, the wooden Maya was clearly written in blood. Lab test results show the blood was the victim's. Also, there is blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Watermelon, watermelon. 
you just gotta love the watermelon, watermelon villain things of the people in the courtroom who don't actually say anything. You're just kind of going. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Defective. Your Honor, why didn't you testify this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, it, I know, I'm a real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try and be more careful. Very well. It refreshes me against cross examination. Alright. We're about to begin the cross examination of Defective Gumshoe and actually point out some contradictions. We'll get to the bottom of this case, or my name isn't Traskinari, and trust me, it's Traskinari.